It is time for more Chrono Trigger, and we are in 1000 AD. We are starting on our side quest adventure, and I'm starting here because I wanted to be able to show you this is this is a big desert, but it wasn't always a big desert. I passed this back when we first got into 600 AD. I mentioned when I came past this house, I remembered what it was. And we can finally go here. After doing the thing in 12,000 BC where we told the lady that she should be planting a plant that she was given by the Guru of Life, this quest became available. And I've been wanting to do it ever since. But I skipped it because I thought it might be too hard. My husband Marco is finally home from the war. Oh, I'm so relieved. Worry not, my love. We won't be parted again. Yep. Anything I plant dies before it even has a chance to grow. It's the work of monsters lurking out in that desert somewhere. This young tree is one that has been cultivated throughout the ages, mysteriously resilient, that could surely restore this desert to a verdant land. But I daren't plant so small a sapling out there now, not with all the monsters nesting in that cave. Well, you know what we must do. Rob you. Uh, and then... Oh, a couple mid-ethers? That's not bad. We rob you and then we go out here. Then we pick a fight with these monsters in the cave, because we like plants. This is a pro plant channel. And if you don't like it, you can, you can stop watching my videos, I guess. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I was just being needlessly aggressive and uh, I wasn't sure how to end it. Let's do ice stuff. Just because. I did keep the team that I ended the last episode with. I don't have any plan, really. Okay, um, this is a desert thing. I was just thinking maybe there's some water stuff. Water hardens sands defense reduced. Hey, nice. Cool, I figured don't use fire stuff. Maybe watery stuff would help. And that worked out. 60 TP is pretty good. Yeah, I'm, I just have the team that I have because I want them to learn abilities. I'm just gonna go through the list of people. Let's see, we're gonna do, we're gonna do ice stuff again. Um, yeah, I'm just going through the list of people and seeing who needs to learn abilities the most. Uh, Magus, having just joined the crew a couple episodes back, is definitely the most that, uh, yeah, needs TP the most. Ayla, as well. Like, I tend to run elementals. Jeez, there's so many battles. They're easy, but still. Maybe I should have come here earlier. Um, yeah. Yeah, Ayla, I, I usually don't use because I'm trying to do elemental stuff, and she does no elemental stuff. But... Yeah, I, I still want her to do things. I, I don't know, I... I, <laughs> I have such a debate over who my favorite character is in this game. A frog is up there. I, yeah, that's right, that was the end of the last episode. I am recording this immediately, so I haven't seen what anybody said about it. The heal beam should be good. And we'll do two. Um, yeah, I haven't seen what everybody else thinks of favorite characters yet. High ether, nice. Do I just get pushed around? Okay, it won't push me anywhere I need to go. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen what anyone's favorite characters are. I, I don't know if it's Robo or Frog, maybe Magus. Could be Ayla. I like all of the characters. Like, there's, there's not a single one that's like, nah, they're just bottom of the list, never use them. So that, that makes it so hard to choose a favorite. Not that I have to choose a favorite. No one needs to choose a favorite. <laughs> oh, I'm just trying to think of favorites in other games now. Like, some of them, there were such standout things. Yes, Barrier. I think Barrier is our magic defense boost. Elixir. Really? There's more? Do I have something that could hit them all for a physical something? Oh, she does have Tailspin. Yes, we have not seen Tailspin yet. That's not just a Tailspin. It is a lot of damage, though. Yeah, anyway. Brain. Things. I'm getting really stuck on who's my favorite in various games. Final Fantasy VII, definitely Sid. 
Don't, don't ask why. I have no idea. I just really like Sid. Another fight? Magus, please. You can clear these out so easily. Let's, let's do that. What else? My brain is just going to Final Fantasy games. Like, uh, of course, Sea of Stars, it's Garl. It has to be. Garl is objectively the the most wholesome character that's ever existed. Ooh, wholesome and realistic. A sudden earthquake, perhaps? Oh. N no, we're being attacked by a pelvis. Huh. Melfix. So he's the one draining the life from this sand. But engaging monsters capable of moving through the earth is against all logical protocols. Yeah, but we're gonna do it. It's not like he's gonna stay there. Come, come here. Come here. No, get... There we got it. Turbo ether? Okay. I can't... It, whoa, hey, I wasn't... I just wanted the chest for now. I thought the fight would come later. I figured that would be like when we get into the middle thing. So we have fought a thing like this before. Like way back on a bridge. Um, we know that ice stuff has been good before. Let's do ice stuff. Zero, but its defense is reduced. What have we got here? Spin kip would be good. It's already draining its middle bit, so I'm going to leave that alone and just let him drain the middle bit. Yeah, there we go. Let's focus from the top down. Blind. That's kind of annoying, especially since Magus doesn't have any techs related to that. Uh, yeah, he doesn't have any physical techs, and I don't know if tech abilities... Ooh. No, I don't think... I don't... I doubt we'd be able to use stop on these enemies. Um, yeah, I think Tex may bypass the blindness thing. I'm not sure. Um, she's... she's so fast. Oh, charm! I gotta remember to use charm. Yes. God, nothing to give but gratitude. Whatever. You jerk. Oh, we haven't seen Rapid Fire Fist. Um, yeah, just keep absorbing energy. I don't care. Let's do, let's do a high potion. Yeah, he could just about use an entire high potion, so why not? Cat attack, I doubt boulder toss would work. She does so much, and she goes so much faster than Robo. It's just better to let her have at it. Oh, okay. We can start on the core now. I was going to go top to bottom. Running wild without core? I don't like that, but... Does anything happen now that the core is gone? Let's do... Let's do a spin kick. Just cause. Okay, so the defense is reduced again. Boost defense when it's attacked. All right, so we need to alternate. Oh, that was a lot of damage. I don't like that. Um, I'm going to let her go ahead and cat attack. Cool, because I, I needed... Ah, dang it. Oh, hanging on with 7 HP and a big heal. Very nice. He may be dead now. Yeah. Please don't kill it, Ayla. Okay. I want Robo alive to get all of the benefits of this fight. I'm gonna have Ayla do it. Yeah, whatever. Have Ayla be the one to revive. Magus can... There's really no reason to have done that. I was thinking, ah, yeah, I can have Ayla revive. Magus can use magic to weaken its defenses again. But then I uh, didn't weaken its defenses. I just went for an attack. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, we, we're gonna go cat attack and Robo's gonna do a group heal. Just to stay on top of that. Oop, not that one, the group heal. I really need to give Robo some speed boosting stuff of some kind. Poor guy is so slow. Yeah, whatever, no one cares. You little earth shaky things. Um, I think I can get away with just a spin kick. She took so much more damage than I expected. Um, never mind. I shouldn't have done just a spin kick. <laughs> yeah, some of this dude's moves are really scary and some of them are terrible. So, uh, yeah, that's throwing me off. Just got to keep the defense down. Let's do another heal beam. Are we? I think we're taking damage over time. I'm, I'm queuing up these abilities too fast to actually tell. Yeah, we are. It's slow, but it's happening. Right? No, 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 no. Don't let her do two in a row. I have no idea what elements we're getting attacked with here, if, if anything. I do know this fight is taking a lot longer than I expected. Do I need a heal beam for everybody? I don't need it, but I'm going to do it. There's still chests here that I need to get. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep the defense down. Hit it with stuff. Ayla's running out of MP. Thanks. Hmm. We're done. <laughs> we finished the fight. 100 TP is pretty good. We may learn something. We have neutralized the source of the desertification. And we should inform Madame Fiona. Des desertification? Desertification. I mean, one of those sounds delicious and the other sounds scary, so... Yeah, memory cap. Memory cap stops locking. That's good. Muscle ring? Is that just a strength thing? I want to check it. I'm not going to use it. Stamina plus six. How is that? Never mind. Muscle ring is stamina and not strength. I... I... Mm -hmm. And I even said never mind after starting oop, to think about it. Strength capsule? All right. Is that also stamina? I don't... <laughs> Moving on. Thank you for dealing with those foul creatures. Now I can set to work replanting again. Alas, I fear it will take ages to plant enough trees to reforest this land. If only there was someone who could toil for centuries on end, then these wastes could truly be made green again. What do you think? I could remain here and assist Madame Fiona, and you could come to retrieve me here once my work is complete. Is that all right? May I stay behind and help? Yeah. Oh, look at him go. Yeah, and that means that we no longer have Robo in the party. Uh, we get Ayla, or Ayla, Marl in there. I do remember we are going to need to have Luca for the next bit, so we're going to go ahead and put her in there. Uh, keep at it, little man. Little man. He is sizable. Sorry, I'm just getting obsessed with watching him work. Let's go back to when he's finished. Or forward to when he's finished. Bam, no more desert. Hello, everybody. This is Fiona's shrine. Here we give thanks to Fiona and Robo for reviving the forest scorched in the war against Magus 400 years ago. Yes. The remains of the venerable Robo were enshrined in the inner sanctum. My hats are woven from twigs rich with the mystical energies of the forest. Oh. Prevent Confuse? Uh, we already have Preventing Lock. And Time. And Vigilant. Prevent all status effects? Oh, they are so expensive and they give so much defense boost. I don't have much I can get rid of. <laughs> um. Dang it. 
what can I sell? Turbo Ether? I kind of want to hold on to. Empyrean Blade, he doesn't need. Moonfall Scythe, you don't need. Doom Slayer. Or Demon Slayer, not Doom Slayer. Kaiser Arm, we replaced already. Brave Sword. Ah, uh, no. Yaksha Blade, it's worse than what you got. Ionian Helmets, we... We're looking at other helmets right now. Memory Caps. What I want to have equipped is better than a memory cap. I can get, I think, three now? No, I can get two. Oh, I'm gonna have to do it, aren't I? I'm gonna have to sell one of these things that I don't want to sell. Oh, come on. All this left is some random junk that I, I need to do to get the last bit. One barrier sphere, whatever. We have barrier as a spell now, so. Okay, who's in the party? Yeah, it's better than Tavin's Helm. Whatever. Okay, whoever's in the party is getting Vigilant Hats. We are stopping our status effects, or, or yeah, stopping the status effects stuff with hats made from trees. I don't know why that's striking me as weird. I just feel like it'd be really stiff and uncomfortable. And again, that's what a nun's habit is meant to be by design, if y'all weren't aware of that uh, weird history fact. Systems reactivated. Well, where am I? Oh. Ayla, how nice to finally see you again. Only a few moments may have passed for you, but I have been waiting for 400 years. However, my efforts were worthwhile. The forest is restored. Now, shall we celebrate our 400 year reunion? Yes. I realized something during these past 400 years. I believe we may have been incorrect in our assumption that Lavos was responsible for the creation of the gates. What do you mean? It is not a certainty, but I have come to believe it possible that some entity wished for us to witness these events. Perhaps it wanted us to see all of these various ages. Alternately, it may have wished to see them for itself. It seems almost as though it was reflecting on the days of its past. Ella, no. Person die, see life pass by, elder say. Before death claims a man, he is made to bear witness a second time to those memories engraved most deeply upon his heart. There may be fond memories among them, yes, but often as not, the ones which grieve us are the most profound. Knowing the end is approaching likely reactivates dormant feelings of regret and desire to return to moments in the past. Do you suppose that will happen when our time comes? Probably. Who knows? Is there a point in time you'd want to return to, Luca? I... N no. Not... Not really. I'm sorry, I probably shouldn't have asked. No, it's okay. It's just something I don't like to think about too much. But even if Lavos did not open the gates, his fate is clearly bound to that of the one who did. Lavos has played a role in every age we've seen. Who do you think it is? It is unknown to me whose memories these are. It is likely an entity greater than any of us. Perhaps we will not know until our journey has come to an end. Shall we turn in for the night? Where do we go? The obvious direction. Ooh. That's new. Well, what's this? June 24th, 990. June 24th, my birthday. Dad promised to go hiking with me, but he blew me off again because of his research. 
I don't get it, but whatever. Who cares about stupid science anyway? Girls don't need to know about that stuff. That's a lie. It's good for everyone to know about that stuff. What is this thing anyway? Tubman said to keep away from it, but it's so dusty. Surely it wouldn't hurt just to tidy up a little. Dear me! My skirt, it's... I'm stuck! Luca! Luca, help! I can't pull it out! Oh no! Luca, enter the password! Stop the machine! But I don't know it, Mom! Um... Dang it, I think I did things in the wrong order. Is this it? Password to shut down the device is the name of my one true love. Use it in an emergency. So, that does give us something. Enter the password. Oh, good. I don't have to, like, press buttons. We know her name. We just saw it. Mommy, thank goodness. Luca. Oh, Luca. Oh, that's the one we already read. That was close. I think I'd better study a little more about machines in case anything like that ever happens again. That was always weighing on your mind, was it not, Luca? You're always thinking of others. I have a present for you. It is a piece of amber I created using sap from the trees in this forest. It required 400 years and a great deal of pressurization to make. I hope you will find it useful. Paint Green Dream. Nice. Robo, you're so sweet. Thank you. And that means we can go up here Ooh. and land somewhere near. Hey, Luca. I've been working on some defensive gear for my favorite daughter. Uh, all right. Well, you don't, you didn't give it to me or anything. Hey, she's walking. What a beautiful day. I think I'll go for a walk once I finish the housework. Oh, yay. We saved Luca's mom from a terrible injury. And who doesn't want to do that? All right. Well, that wraps up what we were going to do here. I, uh, there is one thing I want to go check out. Um, I, I don't think it's anything like the level of stuff that we've been doing otherwise, but I think we can do some things here. So I'm just going to tack it on so the episode's not super short. Make strong armor. Use mini rubies. Trade for petal, fang, horn, feather. Ten each. You want trade? Yeah. Ruby armor. Still want? Uh, let's just say nah. Hmm. No, I was trying to step away. All right, so ruby armor of what I remember. Oh, that is a good boost in our defense. Reduces fire damage to one fifth. That's pretty good. If we end up stuck somewhere that um, we need fire stuff specifically, that would be nice to fill in. But I don't know that we're going to need it that often. How much more of that kind of stuff? Pedal, horn. Oh, I am so low on all of them. I'm just going to have the one. Uh, I've already got the ruby or the red plate and red vest. So I don't need a ton more fire resistance stuff. I think there was something I can do here. Anu, uh, what the matter? I was sound asleep, New. Can Anu not get some rest? I changed Chrono's name, so please come back. <laughs> so let me go back to my dreams, New. I was so surprised that I, I didn't... Uh, yeah, it's it's correct. Night, night. Okay. Oh, I forgot. I don't need this stone, so I give it to you. Jane Silver Jim Stone! Nighty night. Okay, who can equip it? Wait, why is Chrono back in the party? 
I didn't want Chrono in the party. Whatever. Um, Magus is supposed to be there. So we have a silver gemstone. I don't think Chrono ever is able to equip those. Okay, so it's Robo, Frog, and Ayla. Spin Strike. Okay. Chrono, Frog, and Ayla can do a triple tech together. I will at some point go through and try out all these different uh, triple techs. Uh, that seems like it'll be a lot of fun. But not right now. Um, we had a lot of other stuff in the Middle Ages to do, so I'm going to get a set into the Middle Ages. But, yeah, I think this is going to be a short episode. I've had a couple episodes that are 50 minutes long. This one being less than 30, I'm okay with that. Uh, let's see, we needed to do A, and we still get to come back and see Robo Dude and stuff. Um, forgot about that. That is adorable, though. Got his little headscarf thingy on, spreading some seeds around. He's such a, such a cool dude. Uh, let's see. There was the thing about Magus's disciple still existing. Where was that? Where was Magus's castle? I knew how to get there from other stuff. I don't know why I... Do I have a map? No. The cave... Oh, the castle was here. Does it still exist? Uh, well, I can't get to it this way. Or is there a different spot for it? No, I can't get back in there. Whatever. Next episode, I think... I, oh, that's right. I was going to try to do them in the order of what he said. We had so many things in the 600s, though, so we'll probably end up here. But, yeah. That is going to do it for this episode. Uh, <laughs> next episode, we do stuff. Uh, we'll uh, probably Magus's, or Magus's underlings castle, wherever that ends up being. But maybe something else, we'll see. But, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. I do really hope that you enjoyed it. If you like the video, be sure to like the video. Check out the other stuff that's popping up on the screen. And come down in the comments and tell me other games that have combo systems like this does, where multiple people can do stuff. Because I just want to play more games that way. This is not a discussion time. This is suggestion time. And that's the end. I'll see you in my next video. Later.